I thought that I would need that pull the middle bar in between my legs so I could pull myself forward and pull myself um, out of the uh, weight bench uh, to transfer to the weight bench and to transfer from the weight bench. But I didn't. It wasn't. It, it, having that bar there, um, having that middle bar in between my legs, um, I thought was necessary, but it wasn't. Um, and but but I still did use the. I still used my wheelchair to help pull myself up, and I also used the window sill to kind of. Uh, stabilize my body so that I didn't fall to the sides or fall backwards or anything like that. Um, you can't see the windowsill too well, but then, uh, you know, if you can imagine, well, that's where my hand goes a lot whenever I grab uh, to just kind of have some kind of stability or something. Um, but the reason why I ha wanted to have that uh, bar out from in between my legs is because that bar is connected to some um, some bailing wire that is attached to one of the studs in the wall and so I had to disattach that bar unattach that bar so that I could move the weight bench uh, around the room a little bit uh, so that I wouldn't so that I could uh, m my legs would my knees and stuff wouldn't hit the wall um, whenever I was doing um, decline any decline exercises uh, where I'm laying on my back um, or sometimes incline exercises too but the reason why I uh, remove that bar is uh, so that I can move the weight bench out further from the further from the wall and not not have to not be so scrunched up with my legs uh, against the wall and uh, give me a little bit more freedom to move around. So if you notice here, I'm kind of holding on to my wheelchair while I'm lowering the back. Of the weight bench, um, I tried. A, I did some incline uh, flies, incline weight bench flies. But now I wanted to do some decline weight bench flies because, you know, like I said, I was just very concerned about whether I was going to be able to transfer and, um, you know, get myself out of a position like that de on the decline. Uh, without having that bar in between my legs. Uh, that bar also, um, I use that bar to hold on to with my weight, uh, my weight belt. So what I did was I had my weight belt um, wrapped around the, around the weight bench frame but then the other end of the of the weight belt, I had it looped through my shorts, so that my, it was so the weight bench was attached to my shorts, um, and then the then the whole the the weight belt attached the weight bench and my shorts all to one thing, so I you know so I. Um, Fasten, I closed up the weight the uh, weight belt, and I was I was held in a position that was a pretty good decline position. I wasn't sliding backwards on the decline, and uh, that's a big issue. And so I was able to do these flies uh, without having to worry about whether I was going to slide backwards, slide down, slide backwards and down. Um, if you see here, uh, I'm trying to use other things other than that middle pull to try and pull myself up. Um, 
I don't have very great abs, so I don't have good ab I don't have good stomach muscles to pull myself up in a situation like that. So I did use my wheelchair a little bit to grab onto. I was using the frame of the of the weight bench to grab onto to kind of pull myself forward so that there wasn't so much of a distance uh, whenever I was trying to um, get back into the sitting position from the uh, decline laying position. Um, kind of surprising. I, I thought that, you know, I what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to increase the weight just a little bit. But, uh, you know, talking to a guy, um, you know, that my I was telling him that my ego gets in the way and so I want to jump up and put big weights on there and say oh I can do that but I but I really can't after I do a few few repetitions a few sets so anyway I I start well start all out with a pretty lightweight